Hey guys. Okay. Hey guys, this is Dooley. Okay, today in this video we are going to talk about the same function uh, that we talked about in the previous tutorial. It's a uh, read all text. Um, more specifically, file that read all text. And uh, this time we are going to use a different overload which is going to take the path of the file as a string and the encoding that we expect that file to be in. And uh, I'm already pulling the namespaces system.io and system.txt. Uh, uh, I'm getting the file class from system.io and I'm getting the encoding class uh, from system.txt. Uh, I have two files here, test.txt, which has some English characters English uh, text and tutorial text which has some Russia, Russian uh, text that I pulled from Wikipedia and I have some stuff there that I've already initialized um, these uh, ASCII this is just an encoding the encoding class and there are more uh, encodings and some functions in that class that deal with encoding stuff now, by the way, encoding is a very big topic. It's it's worth reading on. You know, there are some posts on uh, uh, Stack Overflow that are very helpful. And here I have the paths of the files that we are going to be using throughout this video. Well, and uh, also almost forgot I have a function here, and this function is essentially the same. Uh, function that we wrote uh, for our last video but uh, this time we are providing the encoding uh, of the file which is uh, uh, what we're providing to the function here that specific overload so now let's simply read these files using ASCII let's see read and handle exception and let's read the English file with ASCII encoding. Let's do the same thing for the Russian file. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see what we get. Let's run this. Okay, I see a lot of question marks. Now, the first file was read uh, quite nicely. It had English text, but the file with the Russian text is not reading uh, properly. We have some characters that we read properly, but most of the characters did not read properly. And the problem here is because uh, uh, the Russian file was encoded uh, uh, with UTF-8 also the the English uh, uh, file was also I can actually click on them and you can look down here you see that uh, it was encoded uh, both of these files were encoded UTF-8 but uh, with the with the English file the, the the difference between the two is that the English file only has characters that are uh, 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 English characters and when the ASCII um, the ASCII encoding was designed uh, English was essentially the language of the internet and it was only English only was taken into account when designing that uh, 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 that encoding system and uh, I believe uh, uh, ASCII uses one byte to encode in character while UTF-8 may use 8, 16, or 32 uh, uh, bits uh, to encode, which is which is like one, two bytes, and, and four bytes to to encode different different characters, and that allows it to encode different languages and you know Chinese characters and Russian characters and so on. So now, because the English characters are encoded uh, with 8 bits, which is uh, one byte, 
that's why there's no problem here for the English uh, text but for the Russian text uh, the question marks essentially mean um, ASCII doesn't have a way uh, to show or to to represent these these Russian characters that were, that were in that file so let's go ahead and try with uh, UTF-8 and let's see what we get and they got read properly we got the uh, English text back uh, we got the uh, Russian text back. Now this is important because sometimes you have to read some file and provide the information you get from that file to another program and that other program might be expecting uh, uh, those uh, those that information is specific encoding. So it's uh, it's important to read the file in a way that you don't lose information from that file and also being able to provide the information to that other program in that in the encoding that they're expecting so it's really good to it's very important to know that uh, encodings can become an issue and you know there's there's a lot of good information out there you can you can you know you can Google and, and, and find out more about encodings. So this is the end of this tutorial. Please uh, subscribe, comment, like. If you've got questions, if you've got uh, uh, comments, please uh, send them my way. I will be responsive. All right, we'll see you next time and uh, for the next tutorial.